Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Act Razor 2. So we're just north of Humbleton here, a town with people seemingly trying to become gods themselves. Uh, so let's head into the Tower of Souls and see what's going on. This is the Tower of Souls, people trying to become masters. Inside the tower there are many man-made machines still working. On the top of this tower we can see the master they created to worship. I'm afraid it has led to a battle between master and people. Please prepare for battle. Alrighty. So I think... I'm not 100%, but I think this might be the last level on easy mode. Um, as I mentioned before though, probably ad nauseum. Uh, that will not be the end of the playthrough. Um, I will continue and do the final level. Probably on normal. I'm probably not going to try to throw myself on that on hard. This is immediately reminiscent of the uh, Egyptian temple from well, the pyramid, I guess, from uh, Actors of One. Interesting door we have here. Oh, so we actually do have robots here. Weird. Oh, wow, there's like all sorts of like. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh, this is super cool. I'm getting like a serious like Soul Blazer vibe from this now. Whoa. Can I block that? Oh, I can, but they explode. Interesting. Wow, did that actually... Did that explosion do all that damage to me? Have I gotten hit before? I got hit by one of these guys, right? Oh god, I don't even remember now. Either way, even if that was two hits, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I got hit by the laser, that's right. Still though, that is... I'm gonna guess that electricity hurts me. Oh wow, I did not expect him to do that. Great, the ghosts are here. Wonderful, my favorite enemies. Alright, we definitely can't block that. I don't know if this area is a maze also. Uh, 3 MP is not bad, it's just not super useful. Looks like there was another item pedestal over here, though. That gave me points! Fantastic. Oh, man. A lot of flying enemies that aren't necessarily obeying, uh... Standard laws of spawning. Right, I figured. Ah, that's my own fault. I slid right into him. Interesting area. So we do get a checkpoint there. Um, and that easy 3 MP is actually kind of nice. Oh, so that will. That'll shoot based on our current position. Wasn't sure about that. I don't need the 3 MP entirely, so. Not gonna go back over there. Explore around a little more first. Oh wow, okay, those bounce. I don't know if it's indefinitely until they go off screen or <laughs> the really like weird janky motion of those guys is kinda charming. Alright, so we got Castlevania Clock Tower stuff here, but it doesn't look like, uh... Can't land on those. Um, it doesn't look like... The gears will... Like, we don't slide down them. So, that's a plus. One less thing to deal with. Oh, these are very effective machines. I'm assuming if we keep going up, we'll eventually hit wherever we need to go. Uh, goodbye. Uh, oh man, not quite sure. I think I needed to land on that platform. Boy, this is a very, very difficult level. I mean, as it should be if it's the final level for easy mode. I guess it's just surprising after the, uh, the last few levels have not been quite as brutal. It's really just the uh, the amount of damage that everything does is horrifying. 
just absolutely huge amounts of damage. Everything seems to do four to five damage. Yeah, so how do I... Was this the platform I landed on there? No, I landed on the one above it, so that's where I need to go. In fact, I can probably just skip all that side stuff. I think those ghosts are my least favorite enemy in the game. Got a nice uh, health upgrade there. Now, I could drop down and pick up the MP, but if it's not health, I really don't care at this point. That was a little risky. I feel like we hit a, a scrolling threshold, because the game does not seem to be scrolling down anymore. Um, and I noticed that when we first jumped up there. Like, I get the feeling if I fell now, it would actually be a death. Yeah, because normally when you... Yeah, we. So I think that was actually some sort of scrolling threshold. Interesting. Um, so can I walk on this? I don't actually know. Oh, nope. Shoot. Yeah, it is! Wow, that's interesting. Does it start me there? No, because it wasn't a true screen transition. That's very interesting to me, just from a design standpoint. Like, that's like a... A point of making a screen change without actually making a screen change. I don't think that's used anywhere else in the game either. I wonder why it must be a memory limitation that they had to break up the screen like that. Very strange. Very interesting though. And unfortunate for me because it cost me a life. You definitely can skip by a lot of this, though, which is good. Man, those ghosts. Oh, boy. Alright. Nope. Gotcha. Ooh, health. I think that guy dropped health last time, too. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so that's the screen transition. Very intriguing. Unfortunate because it actually makes this section then dramatically more dangerous than the uh, the areas before it because falling does not just mean you have to redo part of the stage. Falling means that uh, you have to redo the whole stage. Wait for this cart to come back. Okay. All right, yeah, we can't go on those wires. Wouldn't mind getting to the area to the right, because I saw there was a pillar there. Oh, so this is just a platforming challenge entirely. Uh, yeah, we'll go over this way. I'm a little curious. Whoa. It's a red version of those guys. I wonder if it has more health. Does a lot of damage, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'll actually go down here. Wow, that can shoot straight up, too. Five HP and a door. Uh, boss time? Whoa. Oh, what? Do we have like a mini boss rush? Oh, and they have full health too. Oh, I, I kind of, I kind of rushed it there because I was just not, not prepared for that at all. Oh, okay, botched up that. I don't know how much magic I want to necessarily use here. Standing too close that time. The placement on those fireballs might be different.
Oh, man, yeah, this is like a mini boss rush, I bet. Yup. Oh, man, that is... That's rough. <laughs> this actually should be easier because his height is, uh, I wouldn't know if I would call it wrong, but it's uh, to a point where, his, well, <laughs> I'm gonna say his fireballs are much easier to dodge and then I got hit. What's really brutal is I only have one life left here. Okay. One more hit. Um, maybe this is the last one? Kind of get the feeling it's not, though. Nope. Uh, what do we have left? What is this pla- Oh, the bird. Well, if I just have to fight the bird, I might be okay. Problem is, I'm gonna end up using like all my magic to do it. Oh no! Okay, he's dead. All right. Health. <laughs> Gave me two HP. Thanks, guys. Uh, what other mini bosses are there? Oh, that's right, this guy. Um, boy, I don't know if I ever figured out exactly how to fight him. See, he was kind of just a joke in his regular level. That would be uh, not the way. Okay. The, uh, again, the problem here is I only have one life. So if there's a real boss after this, um, I am in trouble. Oh, man, wow. I just didn't think he was gonna... Boy, that's a bummer. <laughs> You've been defeated. Wow. Okie dokie. Uh, let me get back to the mini bosses. Hold on. All right, we're back at the mini bosses. So here we go. I also managed to get uh, full MP this time. I actually killed myself once to get it. Uh, you can tell by my health value probably. Yeah, the the spacing on these fireballs is is much different. That makes this much harder boss fight. Uh, sh this should be the kill here. Good. Okay. What I'm hoping is that uh, every one of these rooms is a checkpoint. And if I understand the way the game works, it should be. Um, because if it is, then if I take a death here, it won't be a huge deal. Oh, okay. I should not have initiated a glide there. Of course, now I keep doing it just out of habit. I mean, this will this will eventually do it. It's just gonna take a little while. Just have to be cautious. I can probably find an area where I can block safely, but that seems riskier. All right. Good, okay. Again, so if these these doors are checkpoints, then uh, that is good news for me. In fact, now would not be a terrible time to find out. This is the bird, right? Well, that's interesting, he does show up on the other side. How do you fight this bird without using magic? That is a fine question. All right, not that way. I mean, I, I could use magic here, I just... Don't want to if I can avoid it. Yeah, this is definitely the bird area. I suppose I will. Hmm. 
Could wait till it swoops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not expect that. The dangerous thing is just I have so much startup time on my glide. Okay. I don't know if these bosses have like more armor too, but I feel like not only do they have the full amount of health, but they're also taking less damage too. That's unfortunate. I've gotten myself out of pattern now. Oh no, I thought that would kill it. Now I'm getting impatient with the boss. It is a dangerous place to be in. There we go, okay. Two lives left. Not super encouraging. This is the uh, centaur man, right? That is a bad start. I don't know how I got surprised by his attack last time. It actually has a very obvious start up on it. I suppose it comes out fast, though, in my own defense. I would really like to get through this boss um, without dying. I think that is crucial to my success here. I don't know if this is just a mini boss gauntlet or, or what the situation is. Oh, wow, I missed there. That's... Oh, that's, that's dangerous. There we go. I, t I took kind of a risk there, but I was pretty sure the invincibility frames are gonna save me. Oh, good. Are there any more mini bosses? Oh, whoa. Oh, that's right, this guy. Oh, that is, that is bad news for me. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think my chances of making it through there without dying are slim to none. Uh, I think we better use magic on him. Since he's prime target for Phoenix magic. I'll try that double Phoenix trick too. No. Uh, that does do a lot of damage to him though. Oh man, wow. I really did not think he'd be able to throw something. Wow. Good. Oh no, I thought that killed him. Shoot. Oh no, there's more. <sighs> what other mini bosses are there? This is insane. Oh, this guy. Man, this is nuts. Alright, he's up. Think? Oh, there we go. Not feeling super good about my chances here, have to be honest. The uh, the blocking on this is is really what the tough part is. I mean that and the fact that he goes off screen. Wow, he just totally blocked that. That was the wrong magic to use there. Nah, I'm, I'm super dead. <laughs> There's like no way. He just gets a lot of invincibility time. My goodness. 
I mean, my only hope here is that this is that Phoenix magic didn't hit. I really needed it to. Boy, that sucks. Uh, well, I guess I'll uh, continue through and try to get back to that part. God damn. All right, and we're back in the tower. This is not exactly where I left off, or the last boss I had to fight, but uh, well, basically just where I am. Let's put it that way. Uh, this boss is the Pegasus. Um, I would like to try to do this without dying. Maybe a tall order, but it's certainly possible. And I think I figured out a strategy for the, uh, the evil knight. So this should be the run that completes. Boy, he just did uh, a move I've never seen before. So you can kind of confuse the, uh, the Pegasus Knight. Um, if you get behind him, sometimes he'll just stay put and you can just wail on him until he dies. Sweet, all right, this actually gives me a really good opportunity uh, to be able to finish this. I'm gonna save most of my magic for uh, the last uh, mini boss and the final boss. This guy is probably gonna kill me right now, so I'm actually not gonna use any magic on him. Uh, those jelly blobs, or whatever they are, the little ghosts, um, have like three health apiece, I think. So, uh, very little chance of me killing them all. Yeah, that's fine. I'll probably actually open that fight with a phoenix and then uh, go from there. Oh, he didn't spawn there right away. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna open this with a phoenix and then I'm actually gonna kind of damage boost my way through this. Uh, this is not really damage boosting, but Nice. Okay, good. Uh, and there will be health after the next boss. Though it's not much. I'm thinking right now if I want to waste... I want to try this life for real. Well, well let's, let's go for it. I'm going to kind of show a strategy here I figured out. So if you... Oh, wow. He actually broke out of that. Well, that goes that strategy. Uh, if you get him in the corner, sometimes you can kind of juggle him in the corner, almost indefinitely. Not quite indefinitely, but enough to get uh, quite a lot of his health off. And a lot of the times when he's moving around, uh, he doesn't have a hitbox or a hurt box. Boy, this is super close. He's going to kill me, though. Yeah, that's too bad. But that's the general strategy I used here. So basically I just need to finish this with probably around half my health and I'll be good to go. All right, let's try this to the, uh, the earth magic here. I don't know if it's actually earth magic. Yeah, this is what I really want. Unfortunately, he didn't stay there very long, but if you can get him taking damage in that corner, you can really toss him around a lot. Actually, I wanna try this again. Didn't quite get as many hits as I wanted. Nice. Yeah, that's right there. That's the exact positioning. Uh, it doesn't work every time, but it's good enough. And we're coming up on the final boss. Now, the final boss is actually really simple. Uh, now, granted, this is the final boss of easy. Keep that in mind. All right, boss time. Charge some magic. We have this crazy mechanical thing with faces. I think it's supposed to be a false master or a false god. Uh, but as you can see... He's getting absolutely torn up. That's it, that was the final boss. Not joking. Tower of Souls clear. I think we got like a 20,000 point bonus for that. And all right, ready for the ending? It's coming. Here it comes. Yeah, congratulations. Play the real game, you wuss. That's our ending. For now, of course. Challenge normal game. I, get, I think I get a chance to uh, input a high score or something. I don't actually know what the default high scores look like, so let's check that out. Assuming this uh, ends here. I think it just plays this musical note. So what I'm going to do is, um, since the game has passwords, yeah, here we go. 
Yeah, beat that, John. Um, oh, weird. You do like down and up for uh, changing the um, case. That's kind of a an interesting system instead of having to go around like the whole thing. But uh, yeah, so that was ActRaiser 2, or at least the first part of it. Actually, I'm just basically seeing if my name is going to fit here. Uh, I don't think it's going to, actually. Nope. <laughs> How's it, Trow? So, uh, I will be back uh, probably the day after this video. It might be two, depending on how hard it is. But since it's got a password system, I'm going to use a password, get myself up to the final stage, and uh, do normal or hard. I'm not quite sure. Probably normal for the sake of my sanity. So, yeah, I'll see you then. And uh, thanks for watching.